Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day and happy Monday. Hey, you know, there's a lot of commands in the Bible. If you've been reading the Bible, if you've been listening to the word for the day, we're talking about different commandments that, that God gives us. And, and I've been asked a lot uh, by different groups of people at different times, uh, hey, what is permissible for me as a follower of Jesus. After all, the Apostle Paul says uh, everything is lawful or permissible, but not everything is profitable. And, and so there's a lot of discussion around that. With teenagers, it was always, hey, how far can I go when I'm dating? You know, it, it, what's permissible to do before, you know, getting married uh, when it comes to uh, sexual relationships? With uh, adults uh, growing up Baptist, it was always, can I drink? or how much can I drink, or what can I drink, or where can I go to drink, all of those kind of questions. And then uh, I even had people that wanted to argue about whether or not uh, driving faster than the posted speed limit was a sin. And they used to say, well, it's, you got to submit to the, the governing authorities. And I go, I do submit. When the police officer pulls me over and gives me a ticket, I thank him for that and, uh, and go on. So, you know, what is permissible? And, and look, there are several blanket statements that God has given us that kind of give us some direction. You know, Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. First and great commandment, love your neighbor as yourself. So there's the, the law of love. And, and then, of course, uh, the Apostle Paul in Galatians says, if we walk by the Spirit, we will not gratify or satisfy the desires of the flesh. So, again, overarching statements. Uh, Paul makes another one. Uh, it's our text for today. 1 Thessalonians 5.22 abstain from every form of evil. Okay, so that's a command, but it's kind of a blanket. Abstain from every form. I grew up hearing appearance of evil, which is even, you know, kind of more uh, widespread, broad, to, open to interpretation. So uh, that sums up a lot of room in our lives, right? So if it's evil and you know it, don't do it. Don't hang out with it. Don't associate with it. Don't flirt with it. Just avoid it. Uh, but by the way, this is why churches have rules. You ever notice that? Uh, because abstain from every form of evil or appearance of evil, uh, it needs a little more you know, direction in our lives. And so churches and pastors would make up rules to help their people understand what it means to avoid evil. So you know, I grew up in the kind of world where it's like, okay, you can't drink any alcohol, you can't dance, uh, you shouldn't play cards, you shouldn't go to movies, maybe even watching TV was suspect, what did you watch? Uh, you definitely can't have premium channels, all that kind of stuff. Uh, now, of course, there's internets and, and just all of the different possibilities of hanging out with evil. And so churches make rules trying or at least stating that they want to protect their people from evil. Uh, the problem with that, and the reason it's a bad idea, is because when you create rules, you also inadvertently create Pharisees. Because we follow the rules that people made in order to fit in and comply, but we usually only follow those when there's direct accountability, and the rest of the time we do what we want to do anyway. Uh, a good idea is to just check your motives. You know, you and God have a conversation about your motives. Because the, the reality is if you want to do evil, you're going to do evil. Okay, you're going to give in to that temptation, you're going to pursue it, and you're going to indulge evil. No matter what scripture says, you know it's wrong, you do it anyway. If you want to please God, you submit to the Holy Spirit, you pray for him to lead you not into temptation, to deliver you from evil, and to stay the heck away from it. That, that's what you do. Uh, so listen to the Holy Spirit. If you want to follow this command and, and avoid or abstain from every form of evil, listen to the Holy Spirit who is in you. If you're a follower of Jesus and God, the Holy Spirit lives in you and he's your teacher, he's your comforter, he's your convictor of sin, uh, and he's your guarantee of salvation. So listen to him and ask God for direction. If you're not sure, just go, God, should I be involved in this? Should I hang out with this? Should I be near this? Should I participate in this? Because here's the thing, if you want God to direct your steps, he will if you obey him. And if you're committed to obey him, he'll reveal his will to you as well. So I hope that helps you abstain from every form of evil. Have a great day, Calvary. God bless.